a lot of farming you can't control, so you gotta just control the things that you can and hope that it all works out. It's, it's definitely risky and it's definitely stressful, but it's really rewarding too. I always say farming is a lifestyle, it's not a job, it's a lifestyle. I read this book by Gary Paul Nabhan called Coming Home to Eat, and in that book he talked about CSA is Community Supported Agriculture, and I'd never heard of it before. I thought it was a really cool idea, so <laughs> I applied for this internship to work on a farm, and that's it. CSA stands for Community Supported Agriculture, and it's basically um, a farming model that was created way back in the 60s when people were kind of concerned about where their food was coming from and wanted to create a more local food economy. It's basically a, a way for a farmer to connect directly to a community. So a CSA member prepays to receive vegetables during the growing season so that they can buy seeds and equipment and maybe start paying some people at a time of the year when they don't have anything to sell, typically. It's kind of um, a way for a community to really invest in a farm and the success of that farm. We don't use any chemicals and we try to do everything organically and you know we don't want to eat pesticides so we're not going to feed them to you either or your kids or our kids. We use all the crop rotations and pest management strategies that we can that are organic and you know sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't and that's just kind of Part of the fun of farming is you never know what's going to work and <laughs> what might fail. We, we love growing things, like number one that's our passion is actually growing things. But then there's the other part that's really satisfying is seeing people enjoy that food. And when we can have that face-to-face -face dialogue with the people we sell to, then we get to have conversations about what they did with it and, and ideas that we have for what they could do with it in the future. It's just fun to have that dialogue going surrounding something that we really care about. What I'm seeing as, as a, you know, a farmer is that people are really craving that experience. They don't necessarily want to farm, but they want to be connected to the, to the farm and they, they, they want to be involved in some way. I would like my farm to be what the, the kind of farm that most people have in their mind as a farm that they would like to visit, you know, like not necessarily like old McDonald's farm, but you know, some, something kind of like that, you know, that I want that, I have that romantic version of the farm in my mind too. And I, I really would like to create a place where someone can come out and have that kind of experience and really connect with with the land and animals that are on a farm and the open spaces on a farm and, and the farmers growing food. Mm -hmm.